Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins on the Marvel DC Multiverse. We are now at episode 371, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is Petition to Remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 Reaches Goal. Then moves the benchmark, of course. Um, so the verdict in Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's defamation case was released last week, but that hasn't stopped the online uh, discourse about the former couple. So this is largely since there were cameras, you know, in the courtroom, allowing each frame to be dissected by the general public. A petition to remove here from the upcoming DC movie Aquaman 2 recently reached a signature goal and then moved benchmark uh, even further. So the petition for Amber Heard to be removed from the the Aquaman franchise was started after Johnny Depp was asked to step down from the role of Grindelwald, Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of uh, Dumbledore. Since both the DCU and Wizarding World are owned by Warner Brothers, uh, Depp's fans have wanted his ex-wife to face from, uh, similar consequences. And now... That the change.org petition um, has passed over 4.5 million signatures, with the new goal being a whopping 6 million. As fans, sorry, as far as petitions about the entertainment industry goes, I can't recall one that has gotten this much attention, of course. And continue picking up speed for uh, years on end. So this shows um, how many people around the world were turned, sorry, were, t were tuned into what was happening between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard in the Virginia courthouse. Um, still, sorry. So you, people were wondering, will that? Will they be able to reach a six million? The if they they were wanting mean, people are wondering if they will be able to reach the six million mark for this petition about Amber Heard and Aquaman. But only time will tell. So, but Depp was fired from his role in the Fantastic Beasts franchise shortly after he lost his libel case against. UK uh, publication The Sun for referring to him as a wife beater. This decision broke the internet, making way for Mads uh, Michelson to replace him as Grindelwald. The petition about Amber Heard was created in response. Now, the 36 year old actress has also faced her own loss at court. To the tune of over 10 million. So Amber Heard's role as Mira in, Aqu in the Aquaman franchise came up a number of times throughout the course of the defamation trial. Depp's Johnny Depp's team indicated that he helped Heard land a major role. Um, so what's more, it was revealed um, that. Uh, she was nearly fired as Mira after having poor chemistry with Jason Momoa. Finally, it was reportedly revealed that she'll have a smaller role in James Wan's sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The defamation case, sorry, the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was explosive, with the public able to watch footage and make their own decisions about the couple's Tum uh, tumultuous relationship and as such there's been a ton of online disc uh, discourse about who is in the wrong with a petition about Amber Heard getting a ton more signatures as a result of course um, and while the verdict came in a week ago the conversations haven't showed any signs of slowing 
It should be interesting to see how Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's careers ultimately shake out in the wake of the defamation trial. Um, Depp has only recently um, started booking new films, you know, new film roles again, of course, although he was ultimately the victor in court. Uh, here, Simmerly has been working a ton lately. With um, exception of playing Mirror in Aquaman 2 and reshoots for Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League. So Aquaman and Lost Kingdom is currently set to arrive in theaters on March 17th, 2023. In the meantime, um, you know, go online and check out the, 22, the 2020 movie release dates. Um, to plan your, you know, next movie movie experience for DC, which is what I'm planning on doing, you know, along with Marvel as well. So, well, the Marvel films rather. But anyway, that concludes this topic. Feel free to visit us and like us on Facebook. We're available on iTunes, Google Play Music app, Spotify, and of course YouTube.